What's going on swim fans? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to breathe properly in swimming. And this video is for complete beginners. So if you're just getting started with swimming and you feel super out of breath and you're trying to figure out how do you breathe while swimming, freestyle, and even the other strokes, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step guide so that by the end of the video, you're gonna feel confident and have the tools that you need so that you can feel like a stronger swimmer and more confident in the water. Let's begin. When you're just getting started, one of the most important things about swimming is being calm and relaxed in the water. You can feel a lot of anxiety when you first get in the water, and it's really important that you're relaxed and you focus on your breath before you even enter the water. So if that means meditating or taking a few deep breaths while you look at the pool, or even away from the pool or in the locker room, just to get your heart rate down, that's really important. And once you get to the pool, you wanna enter slowly. You can start by sitting on the side of the pool, and then you can go one foot at a time, and then you can just focus on your breath. And what I recommend is focusing on blowing bubbles. So if you're just getting started and you're not really sure what you should do when you put your face in the water, just try blowing bubbles, hum, relax, get your face under the water, put your goggles on if you have them, and just be one with the water. The final thing I wanna say before we actually get in the water is that when your face is underwater, you're actually exhaling. So you're not necessarily holding your breath. And this is something that a lot of beginner swimmers uh, don't understand because it's not natural. So when you're on land and you're going for a run, you have access to breathing in and out at any time that you'd like. Same as when you're lifting weights or you're doing yoga, you can control your breath. But when you swim and your face is under the water, that is when you actually exhale. And then you need to inhale when your face is out of the water. And so whether you breathe looking forward in freestyle or you turn your head to the side, it's really important that you exhale while your face is underwater and then you inhale while your face is out of the water. Let's go ahead and get in the water and work through a process of how you actually do this. Let's go. So we're entering the water nice and slow and whether you're in a recreation pool like this or a lap pool, it's really important to get comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and slide in Feel the water, if it's chilly, that's okay. And just get yourself comfortable. Seek your hands in the water. Notice I haven't even gotten my face in the water, and that's okay. So I did bring a pair of goggles to the pool, which I highly recommend if you're just getting started or you're more advanced. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put the goggles on. But before I do, I am going to put my face underneath the water. So I'm gonna slide in. I'm gonna focus on my breath. Inhale through my nose. Exhale through my mouth, and I'm just gonna slide in, and I'm gonna start with a nice hum out of the water. Here we go. Mm. I feel good. Now I'm gonna put my goggles on, I'm gonna do the same thing. You can do this with your goggles to start. Goggles are great because you can see under the water, and you don't have to worry about chlorine getting in your eyes. So we're gonna try that again. So I'm gonna start nice and easy. The water line is right under my face. I'm gonna do a nice exhale, blow my bubbles, and hum. Mm. and I feel pretty good. Once we're comfortable in the water, the first drill that we're going to do is focus on what we do when we lift our head to transition from our face in the water to out of the water. So the first thing we're gonna do, is we're actually gonna put both of our hands out on the side of the pool, on the wall, and we're gonna focus on blowing bubbles for about five seconds. And that's what you're going to do when you swim freestyle and you swim on top of the water. Now, as you become a little bit more advanced, you're not gonna need to focus on blowing as many bubbles because you're gonna be more comfortable. But to start, we're gonna start with five seconds of blowing bubbles, then I'm gonna lift my head up, and then I'm gonna do it again. So we're gonna go five seconds, here we go. Count them out with me. Three, two, one. I'm gonna get a breath, and we're gonna go five more. Here we go. Three, two, one. I feel good. Now if you notice, my feet were on the bottom the entire time. So I had four points of contact with the, with the pool at all times. I had my right arm, my left arm, and both of my feet. Now when you get a little bit more comfortable doing that, what you're actually going to do is you're just gonna use your hands. So you're gonna let your feet float, and that way you'll build your feel of what it's like to actually float and focus on your breath at the same time. So this time we're gonna do it again. We're gonna blow bubbles for five seconds. 
and then I'm gonna have my feet actually float, and I'm gonna have a little bit of a flutter kick behind me just to keep balance, but I'm really focused on floating. So we're gonna try it again, five seconds, and I'm gonna let my legs float. Here we go, three, two, one. I'm gonna put my foot back on the bottom. Three, two, one. Very good. Now, once you feel a little bit more confident doing that, you're actually gonna focus with one point of contact. So you're actually gonna practice taking an arm stroke and you're gonna rotate your head to the side to get a breath. So we're gonna try five seconds of kicking and floating at the wall and then I'm gonna take an arm stroke and I'm gonna get my head to the side and I'm actually gonna take a breath to the side and then I'm gonna return my face down to the bottom. So we're gonna try this for five seconds. So you get the idea. And once you can do that a few times, you'll feel a lot more confident with your breath and being able to rotate your head to the side. Then the next drill we're gonna do is actually in the 25 meter distance pool. We're not gonna actually swim the whole length, but we're gonna work with a kickboard or any type of device that you can focus on keeping your hands extended. And we're gonna do this in real motion, swimming on top of the water. Let's go. So now we are ready for the next progression of this breathing drill. So I have a kickboard with me and you can use a kickboard, you can use um, the floating barbell or anything that you can stick your hands out that floats. You can even use a pull buoy, any piece of equipment will work for this. So we're gonna put our hands on the side at about shoulder width is ideal. And we're just gonna do a flutter kick with our face looking at the bottom, practicing the same drill that we did at the wall. So we're gonna have our face in the water, for five seconds, it can be three seconds, it doesn't have to be a full five. So three to five seconds, put your face in the water looking at the bottom, and then you're gonna take an arm stroke and you're gonna rotate to your side to get your breath. After you get your breath, you're gonna return your face down and you're gonna exhale and blow those bubbles underwater. While you're getting your breath, your opposite arm is actually gonna be holding your flotation device. So in this case, I'm gonna be holding the kickboard and then we're gonna return. So you don't actually have to be in a 25 meter pool. You can be in any kind of a recreation pool just like the one I'm in right now. And you can actually do this along the side of the pool where you can stand and it'll make it a lot more comfortable. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna grab the kickboard and I'm gonna get my face low to the water. I'm gonna put my face underwater. I'm gonna kick for five seconds, maybe three seconds. And I'm gonna take my pole and breathe to the side. Here we go. Once you're confident placing your face in the water, blowing bubbles, and rotating to the side, then you're ready to swim the full freestyle stroke. Now it's really important when you swim the freestyle stroke to focus on keeping your opposite arm that's not taking the breath extended. And you can pause there as long as you need to. Just make sure you continue to kick to keep your forward progress. If you stop moving, you're going to sink. So it's really important that as you take your breath and you rotate to the side, you get a full breath in and then you exhale when you place your face back into the water. So if you're looking to take your swimming to the next level, maybe you wanna go from sitting on the couch to doing a 1K swim or even a mile in the pool, or you wanna do your first swimming competition, make sure you check out the MySwimPro app available for iPhone and Android and get started with a personalized training program just for you that walks you through a workout set by set. And even if you don't have a smartwatch, you can still use these training programs and the workouts to get you where you wanna be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what questions you have down below in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy swimming.